Hello and welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In the last video we had our apple and we generated an om nom nom print statement whenever we ran over the apple just to let ourselves know like, hey, we got a crossover trigger. But now we're ready to actually kind of like handle this as we're supposed to in the game. So what do we want to do when we cross over an apple? Well, first of all, we need to remove the apple from the, from the uh, environment. Then we need to generate a new apple somewhere, right? And then also we want to make the snake gain some length every time. So all of these things together uh, means we've got to make quite a few little edits here. Um, also, while we're here, I want to change the color of our snake to green. So just write in green um, at Pygame for the place where we're drawing our snake. So it's like right near the bottom, come down a little bit green. Then go to the very top, and let's go ahead and define green. Green equals, and then zero. And we're going to make the green like 155 or something. So it's a little dark green. If you do 255, it'll be like a really bright green, and it just will look weird on the white background. So we'll do 155. And, well, thank you, fun. Um, the next thing, let's go back down to here where we're printing om nom nom. So when we draw the apple, we really have only one apple on the screen every time. So really to remove and redraw an apple, what do we have to do really? Um, what we're gonna need to do is we just need to restate or recall the definition of the random apple X and random apple Y. So really we can come up to the top here and see this right here? We're just gonna highlight that, copy that, come down and right where we've printed om nom nom, just like paste this, tab this part over. And now whenever we run over that apple, it'll generate a new apple. So let me save and run this. Oh, it's in a tricky location, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so we ran over that apple, new apple, new apple. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my goodness. We're moving too fast. Anyway. Um, we saw that I generated a new apple, and that I'm not very good at my own snake game, but that worked out, so that's cool. Now, the next thing that we know we need to do is um, we need to draw another snake. So, or like we need to add to the snake when we run over an apple. So, like right now, here's where we're drawing our snake, and this is okay-ish for drawing like a one segment block, but we know our snake is a combination of a lot of blocks. So this isn't really gonna work into the future. So what I'm gonna end up having to do is we're gonna draw the snake, and then we're gonna have basically a list of elements, like a list of X's and Y's for the snake, and each time we eat an apple, we let that list be a slightly longer, and to do that, we can't really do it with just calling pygame.draw.rect. So what we're actually going to have to do is define a snake uh, function near the top of our script. And basically, I would just put it right above message screen. And so we're going to say define snake. And for example, for now, we can go back to the bottom and we see where we're drawing snake. Just highlight that and control X to copy and, or cut rather and then come over to snake and paste it. And that should be it, but oh yeah, we have to come down here and actually call it though. So where we were, uh, so like right above pygame.display.update, come down here and just type down, type in snake now, so the snake function. And just to make sure that worked, let's just go ahead and save and run it and make sure everything, yeah, so that didn't work out. So name lead X is not defined, of, of course. So what we need to do is, let's do, go up to your snake function and come over a little bit. And you see how we have all of these, these are required to like draw our snake. Why is this not moving over? No way I missed it, there we go. Okay, so we've got like this list of elements. I would just, just like highlight, well actually we only need these three. Highlight these right here, copy, and then throw them into the parameters as well. So our actual function parameters. So our function parameters are asking for what is lead x, what is lead y, what is block size. And then what we can do really simply is we take this, like these three elements, right? We come down, and when we call snake, we just paste it right in there. And so it's the same name as the variables we're using, and that just it just makes it really easy. That way we're not like renaming variables and then making something really confusing. But hopefully that that should run now. 
So here's our snake. We're still, okay, we're moving around as expected. Let's make sure we can get an apple. Let's make sure we can crash. So we can. So everything's working now. We've got our own snake function. And now we're ready to actually build on our snake. So with our apple, it's okay to like leave the apple just like as this like one pygame.draw.rect. And it was okay initially to have our snake. But what ends up happening is we want to modify our snake. As time goes on, we want to throw some rules at our snake and do all kinds of crazy stuff with our snake. And we can't really do that very easily without making just a, a, a nice snake function. I mean, we could take everything that we're going to put in the snake function and put it way down here and make this part a lot longer. But generally, you'd like to keep your game loop as like basic as possible and have functions that build on top of it. So anyway, um, we're going to be expanding our snake function in a bit. Just wanted to get to that point and have our own snake function, make sure everything was working and the apples rejuvenating, all that fun stuff. So the next thing that we're going to do is start building on our snake, get him to get a little longer and all that. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.